Okay, so let's compute for the so that uh, you have a uh, bird's eye view for the computation of the estimate. So problem number one, husband died for no reason. So there's no will because of the immediate death of the husband while laughing and hanging out with friends. He is a playboy with two mistresses aside from her legal wife. He had two sons, one is legal and the other one is legitimate. He had parents on his mansion, also with three legally adopted daughters. His personal property is 20 million with different real property comprising of different house and lot in different area here in the Philippines worth 890,000 million. So her total gross estate is 890 plus 20M. So husband had 910 million. His mansion worth a market value of 10 million. So this mansion, uh, this one is family home. We're leaving the legal wife in his side. So, requirements is first to complete the gross estate, then the total deduction, the estate tax, and the net estate, which should be apportioned to its beneficiaries. So, let's start to complete the gross estate. So, gross, e gross estate is personal property plus the real property. So, total is 910 million. For the total deduction, we have the standard deduction of 5 million. We have the family home of 10 million. And the funeral expense, even though not stated, we need to deduct the funeral expense of 200,000 maximum. Because if you will base it on the property, then uh, she can, uh, he can avail the funeral expense of 200,000. So, the total deduction is 5 million plus 10 million plus 200,000. So, they can deduct it from the gross estate worth 50 million 200. So, for the estate tax computation, so ne next is estate tax. So, we can compute 910 minus the deduction of 15,200 million. So, the balance or the estate tax tax basis is 894 uh, million 800,000. So here, you need to compute the 6% of it as part of your estate tax. So estate tax is 53,688,000 which should be paid to the BIR before um, apportioning the net estate to the... Okay, so to continue, for the net estate, the computation is the gross estate of 910 million minus the deduction of 15 million 200. So the balance is 894 million 800 minus the estate tax that we already computed. So this one is 6% of 894. So we have 53 million 680,000. So the net estate that should be apportioned to the beneficiaries will be 841,000. Uh, 841 million hundred. So here's the computation for apportioning it to the beneficiaries. First is we need to compute for the wife. So we have one half of 841 million hundred twelve. So we have 420 556 thousand. So the remaining one half will be apportioned again to the wife of one half of it. So we have. 420 million 556 times one half, so we have 210 278 thousand. So all in all, wife received 75 percent on the beneficiaries. The pre portion, the remaining 25 percent, will be divided among the one legitimate son and three adopted daughter, and one illegitimate son. Because for the son, for the legitimate and legally adopted, the sharing is twice and for the illegitimate son is only once legally adopted daughters is only two and for the illegitimate son is only one so two plus two plus two plus one so we have nine so the basis is nine so we can compute now for the computation of three portions so we have 210 million 278 thousand multiplied by two over nine four Legitimate son. So he had 46,720,000. 
ST. Same also with daughter number 1, 2, and 3. So, same computation. So, they receive 46,728,000 each. 444 pesos each. For the illegitimate son, so the computation will be 210,278,000 multiplied by 1 over 9. So, he will receive 23,364,000. 222 pesos. So, if you add this 5, so the total proportion for the son and daughters are 210 million 270. Which is, if you add this 3, uh, if you add this 2, the claiming of net estate is 841,112. Okay? So, here's the another example. So, problem 2 is same problem except that there's a will and testament in both. So, according to the will and testament, 80% of his estate will be divided among his children and the remaining 20% will be given to his favorite mistress. So, that's the will and testament. So, the requirements now is to complete the gross estate, the total deduction, estate tax, net estate, and net estate apportion to the beneficiaries. So, this is the gross estate, the same. You have the personal property of 20 million, real property of 890 million, the total is 910 million. So, total deduction is a standard deduction of 5 million, family home is 10 million, which is, will be going to the first family, and then the funeral expense of 200,000 as part of deduction. So, total deduction is 15 million 200. So, for the estate tax, you need to deduct the gross estate minus the total deduction. So, the balance will be computed at 6% in order to get the estate tax. So, 894 million 800,000 multiplied by 6%. So, the estate tax is 53 million 688,000. Here's the computation of the net estate apportion to beneficiaries or heir. For the wife, still, she will receive one half of the net estate since uh, in accordance with the law, the legal wife will receive one half of the share of the, uh, the dissident. So, she will receive one half of 841,112,000. So, she will receive 420,556. The remaining... Um, 50% will be divided among the uh, the heir with regards to the last will and testament. So, for the legitimate son, uh, legally adopted daughter 1, 2, 3, and legitimate son, uh, they have 80% of share. So, they will be divided equally among them. So, so 420,556 times 80% divided by 5 because they are 5 so they will receive 67 million 988 960 pesos for the both of them or for the 5 of them and then the remaining 20% will be given to the favorite mistress so 420 million 556 times 20% so the favorite mistress will receive 84 million 111,200 pesos so, I hope you understand the computation of the ST tax. Okay? I hope you understand the lesson and good luck.